there's never been a case in North America, but these are the first two Americans ever infected with the Ebola virus that we know of. And it, God bless these folks that go over and do missions and charity work, but it is uh, frightening to see, even with the spacesuits and goggles, they've acquired the infection. Both sound to be okay. They're in serious but stable conditions. Serious is one notch below critical, and uh, they, they, they're hanging in there. But uh, this is something fascinating going on right now in the public health community. But is there the possibility that, that somebody uh, who might be a, an Ebola carrier could jump on an airplane, come back to this country, and... And, and start the spread of it here? Well, that's the real fear. And plus, by the time public health catches up with it, because it's not obvious who has Ebola. Look at the symptoms. Fever, cough, uh, uh, nausea of diarrhea, sore throat. These are very generic symptoms. And, and John, you can imagine a lot of folks, you know, are asking, you know, how would I ever know if I had it? We don't test the viral DNA on most infections. People get run-of-the-mill influ run influenza and pneumonia all the time. We don't do a DNA analysis. As a matter of fact, we really don't even know the number of folks that die of pneumonia, how many of them actually had influenza versus other vaccines, or sorry, other viruses. So it is a concern right now that if this thing breaks out, outside of Africa it could be something that we're dealing with and there is no known treatment we just support these patients and yet in this country where we have so much medical care really the best in the world uh, all of a sudden you've got measles uh, diseases like measles and mumps on the rise once again what's that all about? massive uptick in the nut cases of measles mumps especially in universities there's been outbreaks of mumps and in uh, whooping cough up 24 percent this year you know there's been a lot of misinformation about vaccines and i think all of that era bad information about vaccines has led to folks being exposed and these are diseases we thought were eliminated not eradicated but eliminated that is down to a negligible case level and now we're seeing this upsurge again so give your kids that mmr vaccine that's one of the critical few vaccines they really need because the, the misinformation about the vaccine <coughs> is worse, you think, than, I mean, the, the, the possibilities, you know, that some of the... Guys, the virus is, is in the vaccine. What do you think the vaccine, the vaccine is? Well, we're all frightened about autism. It's on the up. We don't know what to do about it. It got blamed. Vaccines got blamed for autism. Turns out it's most likely something else. And it's important to remember, vaccines do save lives. All right. Dr. Marty McCary, Johns Hopkins University. Good to have you in. Thank Good you. to be with you, John. Well, the mysterious disappearance of an Oregon woman prompts a desperate search with few clues. What happened to the mother of two who vanished after running a quick errand? We'll have the latest on the investigation. And evacuations underway as wildfires rage out west. A look at the progress firefighters are making, plus how much one state is spending to beat back the flames. Today, there are three issues many investors are nervous about.